Okay, first things first, it is daylight saving time, not savings time. Now that we got that cleared up, let's dive into the topic. It's that time of year again where we're all gonna have to reset our clocks and remember how exactly we changed the time on our microwave. And then a lot of us are gonna ask, why are we even doing this at all? Urban legends blame Benjamin Franklin for inventing daylight saving time, but actually that's just a myth. The idea started popping up around the turn of the 20th century, and then Germany was the first to adopt it in World War I. The US followed suit and adopted it too. The rationale behind it at the time was to save energy. The thought was more daylight in the evening hours would reduce electricity use since more people are up and at it at that time. That has remained the argument for it ever since. The thing is, there aren't many studies to back that idea up. To be sure, in the mid-2000s, the U.S. extended daylight saving time by four weeks, and the Department of Energy reported a decrease in electricity consumption of half a percent during those added weeks. And we shouldn't undervalue that. That's the equivalent of the power used by 100,000 households for a whole year. But there aren't many studies on daylight saving as a whole to establish that it's worth it in the long run. And it comes with a lot of health downsides that you may have heard of, like an increase in heart attacks and vehicle crashes from drowsy driving. 